Brittany, are we gonna play a trick on Daddy? Trick, Daddy. We're gonna trick him? Okay, I just put water on myself, but I accidentally got it all over my stomach. It was a little wet. You're okay. kidding. I, I swear, babe. <laughs> too? Okay. Hand me the blue. Let's make a lot of blue. No, hand me the blue Play-Doh. There. Thank you, ma'am. Do you like Play-Doh? I like Play-Doh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have my 37 week checkup appointment. So I was getting things started a little bit early this morning. It is about 9 o'clock. Bryn just got up. She slept in really good this morning. But this is kind of how we've been starting out every morning is with plain Play-Doh. Oh, let me come sit by you. Here. Here I am. Are you playing your Play-Doh? Green. That is green. What are you going to make? But every morning she wants to play Play-Doh no, after no, she drinks no. her smoothie. <laughs> and we've been having this smoothie for the past three days. I love it. I actually got the recipe from Jessa Seawald off of her Instagram. And we have been making it every morning. It has oats in it, so it's like more filling. It really keeps me full for quite a while. And bread too. She stays full from it too. And she loves it. And then it has peanut butter in it. And you guys saw all the ingredients. The honey. Wait. I think my camera cut out while I was making it. And I think my camera cut out while I was making the smoothie, but I tried to put all the ingredients in there. It just has honey, oats, uh, strawberries, blueberries, banana. I just put a little banana in because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of banana on my smoothie. Mama, how do you go I'm right by you, look. I'm right by you. <laughs> and almond milk. That's what I put in it. You can put any milk in it, but I put almond milk in it. And it's super good. I love tasting the peanut butter in my smoothie. So I think it's a really good breakfast smoothie. But that's what we've been starting out our morning with and just making Play-Doh. And today I think we're going to play a little prank on Daddy. We're going to trick him. Can you say trick? Trick. Yeah. I think I'm going to trick Drew that my water broke today. I don't think he's gonna fall for it, honestly, because he's like really good at reading through my little pranks I try to play on him. But we're gonna see. Um, we're gonna see what the doctor says today at my appointment because he's coming with me. And if they kind of make it seem like it's possible that I could go into labor soon, then I think I'm gonna try to prank him today. It'll have to be when he gets home from work because I don't want him leaving work and like telling everyone I'm in labor. So we're gonna see when he gets home how I can do that. So she's going to my sister's house while I go to the doctor's and then 
Um, we will come back and pick her up. And the prank will be at the end of the video because Drew won't get home from work until probably around like five tonight. And we'll try to prank him then. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we will try our very best. Are you ready to go to Aunt Lola's soon? Are you gonna play with Evie and Ella? Play Evie and Ella. Yeah, that's gonna be so fun. Where does mama have to go? Doctors. Doctors. And where's daddy going? To mama's house. To mama's house? Daddy's coming to the doctors, huh? We are just getting done with our appointment and we're gonna eat some lunch. Drew, how do you think our appointment went today? Went good, we're still having a baby. But I will give you guys an update a little bit later because um, I don't really like to talk in front of Drew when I'm vlogging, because he makes fun of me. So I'll give you an update once we get home. And Brent is still being good at Lauren's house. I'll try to get a little vlog when I go to pick Brent up. But other than that, we're just running a few errands and then we're gonna go home. Hello. Hello. Hi. Did you miss Mama? Hi. I miss you. I'm, I'm home. home. I miss Aww. you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Yeah. Uh -oh. So we are back. Bryn woke up from her nap. She's out watching her show, as you can probably hear in the background. And I think I'm about to text Drew and kind of like start planting in his head that I might be like having a lot of contractions and stuff, even though I'm really not today. But I also got this tea today, so I'm going to tell him that I'm drinking this raspberry leaf tea so that it also gives him a little thought that it could help me go into labor. And then when he gets home, I'm going to pretend that my water broke. So I'm really nervous about this. I don't think he's gonna believe me. But if he does, it's gonna be really funny. So I'm gonna text him now and see what he says. Um, I need to see when he's gonna be home. It's 4.45, so he should be coming home by at least 5.30. And then I probably can't do it like right when he walks in, but I could maybe do it like when he's here for a little bit and then I'll like spill the water and do it. So we'll see how this works out. Also, don't mind my messy kitchen that's in the background. I haven't cleaned it all today because I took a nap instead of cleaning during Bryn's nap. But here is a little bump date for you guys. I'm gonna be 38 weeks on Friday. So when you guys are seeing this video, I'll be 38 weeks. I'm so excited, I cannot believe that the time is flying by now. And it's almost time for baby boy to be here and I just can't wait. But anyways, I'm gonna get on with the prank and then cooking dinner. I think I'm just gonna make some chicken and vegetables in the oven uh, because it sounds easy and I'm really tired. So I think we're gonna get started doing that after I text Drew. Okay guys, I feel a little guilty because I just told him I'm starting to make dinner and I'm having a lot of contractions. And he said, oh boy. What's for dinner? Oh, what's for dinner? I'm starving, okay? He doesn't care that much, but I'm gonna send him a picture of my raspberry leaf tea. After it's done heating up, you can probably hear that in the background. So I texted him back and I told him what was for dinner and everything. I told him drinking my raspberry leaf tea and he said, oh snap, you about to birth this boy? <laughs> I feel bad that I'm tricking him right now, but I think this is going to maybe make him fall for my prank. We will see. Also for dinner, I'm cooking some chicken. I think I'm gonna do up both of these so that we can have leftovers. And then I'm also making an array of vegetables that I'm just going to be um, putting in the oven. And I have my two pans over here that I'll be able to put in the oven, one chicken, one vegetables. And I also have a big mess of things that I need to find a new home for. Since I was organizing my baby stuff up in the cupboard here and I had to take all of that out. I was gonna show this before I stuck it in the oven, but I forgot, so I just have the chicken here on a pan. I made like two pounds of chicken, and then I made all these vegetables, so that way we can have leftovers tomorrow night, and I can cook for one less night. So I just did like zucchini, red and green peppers, um, pea pods, like the sugar snap peas, and then some carrots. And we all love vegetables, so we'll definitely eat all of those. What were you doing while mama was cooking? Were you playing dinos? Bryn was just down here playing with her dinosaurs. We have them all in this little bin right here. And I have this little sensory bucket for her with just some beans in it. And she likes to play with her dinos in them. So she has her little ones in there. She was just going back and forth between watching her show and playing with her dinos. Brynny, what dino do you like? That one? I love it. What color is it? Green. Yes. Good job. Do we need to do your hair? 
Do you think mama should do your hair? No. <laughs> you like it like that? Is he cute? Teeth. You see his teeth? <laughs> Those are Brittany's teeth, huh? Brittany, are we gonna play a trick on daddy? Trick daddy. We're gonna trick him? Okay, when he gets home, we're gonna play a little trick on him. Okay, so Drew is on his way home right now, and I am just going into the bathroom because I'm gonna put some water on my pants right now. So I told him I think I might be in labor. I texted him that, and he hasn't replied yet, so we'll see if he believes me when he gets home, but I found a little hiding spot for my camera, and I have to hurry up and do this before he catches me when he gets home. I just put water on myself, but I accidentally got it all over my stomach. And then I got it on my shorts too, but I think I'm gonna go change my <laughs> I'm gonna go change my shirt because that's not believable. I just changed my shirt, so now I just have my pants. And I'm gonna sit on the chair in the living room or in the kitchen. I'm gonna put a towel under me and say that my water broke. Okay, let's go do this. I just set the camera up right here. Let me test out how it looks. He might see the camera, but we're gonna see how this goes. So I texted him that I think I might be in labor. He said stop with a bunch of peas. So I think he's gonna believe me, but we'll see. Okay, he just drove by and he believes me that I'm in labor. So we'll see if he believes me that my water actually broke. I'm not sure if he will, but here goes nothing. Babe, my water just broke. I'm not kidding you. I've been having contractions like pretty consistently and then my water just like broke. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Brittany, don't touch mama. Mama's a little wet. You're okay. kidding. I, I swear, babe. <laughs> I'm wearing your basketball shorts too. Your water just broke? Yeah. So like we're having a In kid? In the bathroom, but my contractions aren't like super painful yet. So what's that even mean? So that just means yeah. that I have to go to the hospital. Like, I just texted my mom to come over here. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Ew. She said ew. Don't touch my phone, okay? Am I a little wet? So you better get your bag. Your water be broken, we're not leaving. <laughs> well, because you can leave like shortly after your water breaks. You don't have to be in panic mode. I knew it this whole time. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe we got him. This is what he just saw. He looked at me. <laughs> he thinks I'm so stupid right now. But luckily he didn't text anyone that I was in labor because he didn't have enough time to. I should have kept it going, but I just couldn't hold a straight face anymore. Friends just eating her dinner. We got lots of veggies. Do you like your veggies? Veggies. They're yummy, huh? She's my veggie eater. And we pranked Daddy. Did we prank him? Did we play a trick on him? Trick. Yeah. Was it funny? <laughs> was it funny? Babe, it was a pretty good prank though, wasn't it? <laughs> you were confused because I wasn't freaking out enough. It was like, you should be freaking out. One, I feel like we should be leaving. <laughs> so, oh, that's so funny to me. Alright, so I just got done um, taking a little bath and we took our thumbnail, which is really funny. And you guys already saw that at the beginning of the video, but it was funny trying to get Bryn to cooperate for the picture. But I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to show you my stomach, how huge it is, um, without my shirt down because I never really show my stomach without my shirt on it. I don't think I ever have. So. Look at how huge it is. I just feel like it's so big. Don't mind my stretch marks. I did get some stretch marks. 
I got some down here. These ones just came this pregnancy, and then these ones I had before, I think, but I think they might have got a little bit worse. But that is what I'm looking like without my shirt down. So, yep, there you go. There's a full view. And I also wanted to give a pregnancy update before I ended this video, so I'm just relaxing on the couch while I'm filming this. I'm very out of breath because I just got done taking a little bath and getting dressed and stuff and that gets me out of breath these days. But my, for my pregnancy update, I was measuring 38 centimeters today and I am 37 and a half weeks. So they said that was right on track. And also I asked about getting induced again. I wanted to make sure that if I missed my, if I go past my due date, that I could get induced at 40 weeks. And unfortunately, my office said they don't induce until 41 weeks. But I'm really just having faith that I'm gonna go into labor on my own before 40 weeks because with Bryn, I was about three days early when I went into labor and two days early when I had her. So I'm really hoping that that'll happen this time because I can't imagine how much the baby would weigh if I went to 41 weeks. Also, I'm having really bad acid reflux. I'm not sleeping good at night. I've been waking up like every probably two hours to pee. Usually I wake up at least four times a night, sometimes even five times a night to go to the bathroom because I drink and I drink so much water and I eat so much ice that it just like right before bed, I can't even stop myself from chewing the ice before I go to bed because I'm addicted to chewing ice. So then I'm up peeing all night and I think even if I didn't drink water before bed, I probably still would wake up a few times, but maybe not five. But I still feel rested in the morning when I wake up because I usually go right back to sleep. Some nights I do have insomnia where I will just lay there awake for like an hour, but I haven't been having that for the past week, so that's been nice. Also, I've been having a lot of contractions. Yesterday, I probably had like at least 20 contractions. And they do hurt. They're like pretty painful. They're just Braxton Hicks, of course. But they feel pretty real and they take my breath right away like I can't breathe for a second. I know my body's preparing for labor. It's just how long is it going to take? Hopefully in the next week or two, but we will see. And his heartbeat was, I think she said 142, so everything looked good. Um, we're right on track and I'm just hoping that this baby isn't too big because I have a feeling that he's going to be huge. And also today she read the name off of the chart because we told her the name that we were thinking of and she really liked it. So for some reason that made me a little bit more confident naming the baby this, just seeing that like, seeing how someone reacted to the name that didn't know us and they really liked it. So I don't know. And she really liked Bryn's name too. She thought that was unique too. So we're pretty confident on the name. I haven't ordered a little name plaque yet, so I probably won't have enough time to. But I might try tonight. I might try to order one. I can't wait to announce the name to you guys and just to show you guys pictures and videos that he's here. And I also pre-recorded a I'm in labor video so that I can upload that when I'm in labor. So hopefully that works out. I'm going to try to get that edited this week. That way when I go into labor, I'll be able to just make it public for you guys and you can know I'm in labor. And I will be updating you guys next week, of course, for my 38 weeks. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.